Oh. But you can't honestly be saying that it's only Republicans who are. I mean, this is what I think people get annoyed about when we have people from different, you know, on sides of the aisle just kind of spewing talking points. You can't honestly say that only the Republicans are being sensible in all of this and only the and all the Democrats are not being sensible. Really, Alice? Do you really believe Absolutely that? Absolutely not. Uh, no, I'm, I'm not saying that, Anderson. What I'm saying is that th those that are serving elected officials there in Washington, they're representing the will of the people. And what we need here is leadership. And, I, and I'll acknowledge this. It's, there's a shared responsibility amongst leaders in the House and the Senate. But the man at the top, President Obama, really should have rolled up his sleeves a long time ago and had these conversations much sooner than we had five hours before the shutdown. And, and, and there is shared responsibility. I will acknowledge that. But it, we... It, Look what happened with uh, Clinton and Newt Gingrich back in 96. Right. They, they met a lot more they, all they, throughout. They, can't, they certainly right up to the, vi the final minute. We're not seeing that here. Well, let me, let me ask, it's Paul, up to the president to ha start those conversations. Paul, let me ask you about that. You obviously worked with, with, with President Clinton. I mean, a lot of Republicans, just like Alex, are saying, look, the, President Obama has no relationships with people on Capitol Hill, with Republicans, and he should have been entering into talks and, and working on things a long time ago. It would be better for him politically if he had. There's no doubt about it. It's kind of optics people like. They love that stuff. Here's the difference. The problem here is not the Republicans, certainly not the Democrats. It's the Tea Party. It is a faction within the Republican Party that has hijacked this party. It's not John Boehner. John Larson was exactly right when he said that. So if you want to move the Tea Party, do you bring Barack Obama in? I've seen the data on this, by the way, the polling data. The, the Tea Party, they, they, they hate Barack Obama like the devil hates holy water. So the notion that Barack Obama showing up is going to help with Michelle Bachman and, and, and Steve King and, and these Tea Party uh, uh, extremists is nuts. So he had to, for prudential reasons, hurt himself politically, but disengage from this so that Speaker Boehner, who's the one person who actually might be able to bring these lunatics to heel, can come in and try to do it. But more Obama actually would make things worse. 